morning. Welcome to Bazaar Morning Call. I'm Lata and with me Anuj and Sonia. Well, uh, at the moment, uh, it's not so much jet that we're going to concentrate on or uh, uh, competing farm incomes. At the moment, we have to concentrate on the green and the Asian screen. I mean, there is global gloom. There is no denying that Wall Street and Europe are still sulking that the yield inversion in the U.S. is indicating that uh, growth is not going to be too good this year in 2019. And actually, yesterday, the bonds, interest rate on bonds, German bonds, went to negative. Uh, so, you know, if you uh, held that bond, you have to pay money and you don't get an interest on it. Uh, you also saw U.S. yields, U.S. treasuries on U.S. Uh, uh, paper falling by about two basis points. The 10-year went down to 2.4. Clearly, the developed markets are not looking too good, but the important point is Asia is ignoring the global gloom. So the theme that we have seen in the past uh, probably eight weeks of EMs uh, attracting more money than DMs or indeed attracting money from DMs appears to be at play at least today morning. So in the very least, we should hope that uh, India will follow suit. And then, of course, you can add things like JET, which might add a little more cheer uh, to, say, Indian banks, uh, already banks should benefit by the lower interest rate. So it's quite possible that today we strike a green note. Okay, and a little more cheer to consumers like us, right? Finally, you know what happens to your jet miles. I mean, they just don't go to waste. <laughs> There's not another... Keep your fingers company. crossed. You know, yeah, you never know where that goes. But uh, for the market, let I mean, third straight day of closing in the red yesterday. Um, and the numbers also have been dwindling, right? FII's after buying 1,500, 1,600 crores have bought only 150 crores in the cash market yesterday. So there's a big fall there. And DIS actually sold in the market yesterday about 13-odd crores or so. Uh, Anuj, morning, we were discussing this yesterday as to mm. has the uh, pre-election rally, if you want to call that, has it come to an end? Uh, you said that it would be so too soon to take that call yesterday. Uh, but today, uh, after seeing about two days of or three days of ending in the red, uh, can you say that with any degree of certainty? Morning, Sonia. You know, if if I was a politician, I would say, make me the prime minister. I'll take the Nifty to twenty thousand. I mean, <laughs> we'll see what happens after the election. I mean, you know, you can make all kind of unreasonable promises. Anyway, but look uh, for the market. Uh, yes, the first hour today is very crucial because while you know looking at the Asian screen, there's a bit of a buying which is clearly visible now. Uh, and the market's worst fear that there would be follow-through selling in U.S., at least that's not come through. By yesterday, we had factored in the Dow falling about 50, 60 mm -hmm. points. That's what we mm -hmm. got. So that much has been priced in. Uh, and Asian markets are moving up. Hang Seng in particular, keep an eye on Hang Seng. That's up 115 points right now. The SGX Nifty is moving in line with what the, SG, what the Hang Seng market is doing. So just keep an eye on that. Uh, uh, low of 10,311 on the Nifty uh, yesterday's Sacro Seng and high of 10,395. I think if, if we take out 10,395, that leads to some short covering because then everyone who shorted yesterday is losing. But as of now, the base case is that the current swing is over. We had a 1,000-point swing, 10,500 to 11,500. Mm. I still believe that this market has unfinished business. It perhaps will go to all-time high at some point in the next series and even higher. But before that, it needs to just perhaps consolidate a little bit. The Nifty's 20-day moving average is still 200 points lower from here. Now, I'm not saying that we go there. Uh, the 20-DMA can catch up uh, if the market consolidates. The options data is very interesting yesterday. It's presenting a very mixed picture. There was a lot of call buying at, at the money, 11,350. Uh, you know, that perhaps is a way of playing this market on the options side, not naked futures. You know, you want to, you want to still, you want to buy, but you want to, you know, limit your risk, and that's why you bought the the, the calls. So this call buying that you've seen from FIIs, that is going to be some kind of, you know, provide some kind of cheer to the bulls. Uh, but uh, not one of those days where you want to be aggressive. Just, you, know, you just want to see whether the lows are being respected or the highs are being respected and then take a call accordingly. Well, that seems like a fair point because yield inversion, like I pointed out last time on December 3rd, uh, did not lead to more than a week's uh, fall. So, I mean, at the most, we should be prepared for uh, middling performance for some time before the market climbs. Uh, but clearly, EMs are charting a different course.